pros and cons for buying a new construction home. And that's what we're talking about today. So let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And today I'm going to go over the pros and cons of buying a new construction home. But before we get started, why don't you make sure you hit that like button, that subscribe button, because you know what? You love me, right? No, just kidding. <laughs> because I like to talk a lot about new construction, Las Vegas real estate, Summerlin real estate, you name it. You want to learn more about it, right? So subscribe to my channel. When you're house hunting, the lure of new construction is undeniable. You get to be the first to live in a pristine home, one untouched by grimy hands and muddy shoes. It's full of brand new appliances and all the upgrades and aesthetics that you had chosen just by you. And you won't have to worry about making any cosmetic or structural upgrades for years. In today's hot housing market, buyers are likely to consider every available home for sale on the market. As you weigh whether to buy a brand new home or resale home, here are some pros and cons to buying a new construction home. I'm gonna go over all of the pros first and then I'm gonna go over all the cons. The number one pro thing is, again, as I mentioned, is that everything is brand new. And two, everything comes with a clean slate. You don't have to worry about all the other design choices that the previous owner had made because all those upgrades were chosen and selected by you. And number three, you have your own design control. You know, depending on how much money you want to spend on your upgrades, from the kitchen cabinets to the countertops to the flooring, you're in control of choosing the design aesthetic that you like. Number four is floor plan. Typically, new construction homes are a little more modern. They're the open floor plan with one big great room with a kitchen and the great room all in one room. And number five is smart and healthy. And what I mean by smart and healthy is that smart technology options allow you to automate internet, cable, speakers, and even alarm systems. And number six is energy efficiency. New appliances and home systems are much more energy efficient than resale homes. And all this translates into lower energy bills. And number seven is maintenance. A newly built home requires less maintenance since everything from appliances to the HVAC system and roof are brand new. And since most of these builders have warranties, these warranties will cover any maintenance issues for years to come. All right. So those are the pros of buying new construction. Let me know in the comments if I missed any other pros that you could think of when you're buying a new construction home. Now I'm gonna go over the cons for buying new construction. And the number one con for me is timing. It can take anywhere between seven to 12 months to build your new home, if not longer, due to the fact of a lot of items are back ordered, a lot of supply chain issues. So if you want to buy and move into a home right away, it may take longer than expected. So that's the number one con for me is that it's gonna take a little while, if not longer than expected to move into your home. And number two is temporary housing. You may have to find temporary housing while you wait for your home to be built. And this could add extra expenses because you're moving from one place to another place to another place until you finally uh, move into your new home. So especially here in Vegas, if you're relocating here and you want to um, rent a place before your home is completed, it may be a very hard feat and it may be hard to find short term rentals to suit what you're looking for, especially if you want to do three months, six months. A lot of the master plan communities do not allow short term rentals. Most of them require a year or more lease. So just FYI on that. So temporary housing could be a snafu. Now, another side note too, and I want to advise this to you guys is if you are buying new construction, the builder says that your home is going to be done in July and you are renting 
do not give notice to your landlord. I would go on a month to month until you are in that house and you have closed and you're fully in there because I've had several clients that have given notice to their landlords and the home was not done and they had to move out and find temporary housing. So that is a conundrum within itself. So that's the best advice I can give you. And number three is price. New construction is typically more expensive than buying a resale home. And not only is the homes tend to be more expensive, but so is your property taxes. So food for thought on that, which I mentioned several times in a lot of videos that I go over. Typically when you buy new construction, it's approximately 1% of the total purchase price. Now that will vary depending on what part of the Valley you buy. However, when you buy a resale home, that's usually half the price in property taxes. So it's a little more expensive when you buy new construction. And number four is location. Now, since we are running out of room here in the Las Vegas Valley, a lot of the new construction is usually in the Northwest, Southwest. It's not in the middle because we've already built out and we're spreading on the outer skirts of the Valley. So sometimes um, a new construction home may be further away from a lot of amenities like the airport or the strip or whatever it is that, or even your job. So think of, Usually when you buy new construction, the location may not be in the best place yet until it's fully developed. However, of course, we know that in Summerlin, no matter where you buy in Summerlin, especially new construction, it's a great location, but food for thought on location. And number five is landscaping. So there's a couple things with landscaping. One, when you buy new construction, your front yard is fully landscaped. However, your backyard is not landscaped. So it's a barren backyard with just dirt. Another thing when you buy in a new construction area is that the trees are not mature. So everything looks new, kind of looks barren or desolate. So just think about that when you're buying any new construction community that the trees are not mature yet and it will take years before everything will grow. So those are my pros and cons of buying new construction. I work with a lot of clients that buy new construction here in the Las Vegas Valley. So there's a lot to consider when you're debating between buying a resale home or a new construction home. I think, you know, one, are you okay with buying someone else's decor? And if so, that's an easy fix where you can always remodel it yourself. However, it's always nice to buy a new home where everything is brand new and all the appliances are new and you don't have to worry about anyone ever living in that home. If you're thinking about buying new construction here in the Las Vegas Valley, I am your local new home sales expert. I sold at least 30 this year alone, so I'm quite adverse on new construction. You can always give me a call at 702-370-5112, or I've posted a link to a buyer form down in the description below. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you guys on the next one.